This is a kind of an unboxing video for the uh, Chins lithium iron phosphate uh, 100 amp hour 12 volt uh, battery with the BMS. Now the pricing is uh, interesting. I was able to get it for $304. It was $320 versus $330 and they had a $16 or 5% uh, off coupon. So <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly what the uh, deal with the coupons and the pricing are but uh, I think that's kind of Amazon and and uh, whoever's selling this thing is trying to uh, get the uh, demand to match the supply or something because I know that when I got a portable power station that had some it was like 1300 but it had a $500 or 38% uh, coupon and that brought it down to what it should have been in the first place but anyway Here's the uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. And if you look, there's, <coughs> it says uh, maximum depth of discharge is 100% charge voltage 14.2, 14.6. Email to the purchaser through Amazon. This is what they say. Over voltage disconnect, 15 volts. Over voltage reconnect, 14.2. Charging limit voltage, 14.6. Float charge should be around 13.8. Low voltage uh, disconnect voltage is 10.8. And low voltage reconnect voltage is 11.6. From the instruction manual, it says uh, normal charging is 14.2 to 14.6 voltage, which is uh, approximately what uh, we have in other information. The max charge current, 50 amps. When the over voltage, overcharge voltage exceeds 15 volts or the over discharge voltage is lower than 8.8 .8 volt, the battery will automatically disconnect. Our recommended charging and discharge volts voltage are 14.6 plus minus 0.2 and 10 plus minus 0.2 volts for discharge. Lithium Solar, who is... Uh, Right here, he had an EnjoyBot lithium iron phosphate battery. And uh, EnjoyBot and Chins, I think, are exactly the same thing. Anyway, he uh, his BMS opened up at 9.87. Now, I'm taking everything from this voltage chart. Essentially, here's your 10... 10 volts should be zero, and your 13.6 uh, should be 100% resting. So <clears throat> this is lithium iron phosphate, and you can't do much about the chemistry as far as the voltage and the uh, capacity, I don't think, anyway. Now I went and did a straight line approximation, and I uh, got the uh, if they're cutting off at 10.8 volts, that leaves approximately 3.6% state of charge. And uh, what I measured down there, 13.18 volts, gives you approximately 64% state of charge, which is, as I understand it, about where they uh, try to ship the... Uh, the batteries at about 50% state of charge. Old Prouse did a uh, teardown of a Chin's $579 uh, battery, and the reason it was $579 is it's got heaters in it. But he was impressed about the uh, build quality, which says something for the Chin's brand. This is the uh, box that the Chin 100 amp 12.8 volt battery came in. As you can see, there is a, a deep indent right there. 
There's also one right there. Yeah, but the chins was packed very nicely. There you've got the indent in here and nothing on this side. And down here, it didn't even get through to the uh, inside of the package. This is the chins battery. If you can, that came in at 13 point, uh, it came in at 13.18 volts. It also had the uh, screws and a cap for the tunnels as well as these protectors. And it's about 20 some pounds, 23 pounds. And that is what it also came with an instruction manual. And essentially it gives you their list of uh, products but here's your 12.8 volt 100 amp uh, charge voltage is 14.2, 14.6 maximum continuous discharge 100 amp maximum continuous charge 50 amp one thing that it does say is uh, when you Using it for the first time, complete a cycle of dis deep discharge and full charge so that the battery capacity will be automatically corrected, whatever that means. So I'm probably going to hook up a uh, heater to that and drop it until the uh, BMS uh, turns it off or it gets down to what they consider a uh, discharge and they send a information that uh, tells what the charges are or the voltages are for the different percent charges. Once I get this uh, battery in a battery box and uh, add the fuses and whatnot for the uh, ham radio that I have, I'll uh, probably go ahead and uh, do a uh, video on that. But until then, I'm not uh, unhappy with the uh, battery, and uh, so that's my quick unboxing slash review of the Chins battery.